Hey guys, my name is Alex. So this is the second part of my helmet uh, creation methods. So we're going to recreate this one. So again, I'm going to start with a box. This time 80 by 80 by 80 and apply a troop smooth modifier to it two iterations front view right click on the troop smooth collapse to right click and convert it to editable poly I'm going to turn on wireframe and again select the bottom part delete it three on the keyboard to go to border selection select this border let me just turn off so I can help myself. <laughs> but before I'm going to I'm going to undo this part. So I'm going to just crank it up a little bit. And on the left side also. Then just delete this one and going to Border selection, select this border W, shift and click and drag down. Pressing 1 on the keyboard. Selecting this, these three vertices on the front and the back side. Going to the left, view soft selection and make it a 40. And just pull it down. Going to the front view, turn off soft selection this down holding shift and selecting these polygons I'm going to apply a polygon smoothing group so it looks something like this and now I'm going to go to swift loop and apply another another line and going to vertex selection I'm going to align it this and I'm going to create another one and again and like this whoops and now I'm going to delete this half I'm going to edge selection and select this edge and apply symmetry modifier flip it on the X bam and going down to editable poly and make sure I have show end result turned on vertex selection I'm going to cut from here to here to here to here and I'm going to go to border selection select border going to edge selection holding alt to deselect this ones and holding shift and click and drag it down a little bit then I'm going to select these uh, edges and I'm going to connect them holding shift and pushing this down and vertex selection cut and I'm going to come on cut across and do the same thing up here edge selection shift to create a uh, ring selection and then just holding shift and connect and again go to vertex selection cut and cut across now I'm going to create the holes for the eyes select these polygons and delete them and I'm going to also delete this by holding control backspace to, to delete also delete the, ver the vertices of these uh, selected edges and now I'm going to select this ring and connect holding shift make four seven what are these seven seven yeah seven and here four shift and make four and I'm going to again 
going to go to vertex selection and select this one, two, three, four, and then this three, this two, and this one. And again, I'm going to chamfer them holding shift, bam, hold, going to polygon selection and well, holding control and going to polygon selection and holding alt and deselecting these polygons that we don't need and just delete this selected so we have the holes created and now we are going to uh, close this up by collapsing it and applying a shell modifier with two um, outer amount collapse it convert it to editable poly and as we can see we have our base uh, created with uh, the holes for the eyes and for the air to breathe now we are going to just extrude this front part. I'm sure you know how to do this, but I'm going to show it anyway. <laughs> Control Shift to select this and going to the left view I'm going to deselect these ones and on the inner part I'm going to uh, go to ignore back facing and just delete well deselect these ones and let me turn this off and I'm going to also on this select holding out these ones now I'm going to extrude them extrude in the local normal one okay now if we apply a turbo smooth modifier again we can see we have these soft edges so we're going to fix this by making sure the software knows which edges we want to keep it crisp so all the edges that we want to keep crisp are going to be selected by holding control and maybe shift to make loop selections well this is pretty much tedious work but it will help keeping the keeping the polygon count low and this is always used uh, useful if you if you want to uh, use this model for games for example so just crease it up and make sure you apply a turbo smooth modifier to it you are getting what you are looking for now you can see these parts are flat kind of flat it's not an arc so you just go to front selection and select this these vertices and going to the left view, holding Alt, deselect these ones and just push them out a little bit. Push them out a little bit in the front view, maybe deselect these ones. I don't know how it is going to look, but let's see. Yeah you know what I want to show so just play around to get the shape that you are looking for and I, 
would say, well, yeah, this top uh, is also uh, created with selecting edges and just squeezing them up. And we can do the same for these parts and we get the same result as we have here. Well, well in the left view we can select these polygons and just push them up out a little bit and just push them in a little bit well you know what I'm trying to create here so this is pretty much it for this tutorial I just created another one which used this shape and I just created additional part that made this king looking helmet which I'm going to use in a speed sculpt challenge as you can see we used 10 11 minutes to create this so using the te these techniques you can create whatever you want so uh, if you like this video subscribe to my channel check the rest of the videos share this video and till next time bye